Hello and welcome to Rockstar UK. In this episode, I'm going to show you the completed bike that I've just built for a customer. Um, GY6 swap, uh, custom paint job, uh, how, everything, everything's been done to it, disc brake, the lot. So um, I've been working in the background sort of trying to finish it off because um, I had to get the escort away and I've got to get ready for MOT. I've got another customer that wants in straight away. So uh, busy boy, got to get it done. So. I didn't want to bore you with all the wiring and stuff, so I'm just going to take you through the completed bike and show you everything that's gone together. So I wheeled it inside mainly because of the wind noise and stuff like that that's outside. But um, here is the finished bike. It's the small headlight version, which I think suits the sort of like the retro theme of this bike. So it's old English white with um, you see the brown how it's changes really dark and as soon as the sun hits it it goes into this lovely gold and this is called pyrite brown um, tank cover carbon fiber tank cover and then I've had this bezel painted around here in the pyrite brown to contrast against the old English white and then we've got the bottle cap uh, gas cap cover obviously we've got to have the Rockstar UK sticker down here, we're running a Shinko 120 tire, white wall tire. It's actually a little bit tight, so if you're thinking about doing this in the future, just beware that it will rub on this just a little bit. Um, it doesn't affect as you're riding really, but if you hit a big enough bump, I think it might. So just be, be wary of that. Um, so we've got the Adelin uh, brake caliper set up with the 220 mil rotor. These are the TRS uh, low-down forks. We're running a stock triple tree, which has just been painted in wrinkled black with some nice new hardware. Uh, these are the indicators. So we're running these little, little sort of indicators that just, so they're not overly noticed in terms of when you're looking at the bike, but they do shine nice and bright so that when you're riding, you'll be seen. Sorry, excuse me, I got a bit of a cold. So we've got the Vans waffle grip in a nice, I think it's like a dark brown. I can't remember what they called it, but uh, we've got the TRS mini switch, Adlin levers with the TRS brake switch. We've got the TRS load, load um, headlight lowering bracket. Sorry, my brain's really messed up from doing this bike. Then we're running the BMX style headset with the Coso mount. We've got the the block off with the starter button there. Obviously we've got the nice ignition switch. And on this side I've had the NCY roller th bearing throttle uh, painted in the pyrite brown. And obviously we've got the Adlin with the square top. Um, brake is still good. Um, I had, had to let, let a little bit of air out the top today and it's given the feel back it was a little bit spongy, but I mean, it's been sat for a, a week. Um, so, we are running the TRS mount for the coil and pump. Uh, we've got a fuel filter in there. I've had to route it in this way so that it didn't pinch underneath that. Then we're running the vacuum lines and also a one-way valve in the fuel line. Um, I will actually cable tie all that up together shortly. It's just one of those jobs I haven't quite finished. Coming up to the back, we've got the low down seat frame, or the dwarf seat frame as it's known. And we've got all these nice new TRS hardware. Put the indicators in the back, just like um, I've had to before. And then we've got this nice seat cover from Cheeky Seats. We've got the ankle bike kit. Old English white and then the pyrite brown and a full transmission kit. So uprated clutch, uh, contra spring, uh, clutch bell, uh, dry face and variated kit. 
and then we got the spring here that's been done in the pyrite brown and the TRS low down rear shock that makes up to the TRS billet GY6 mount. Under here we're running a I can't remember if it's a 28 or a 30, it will say on the other side, but Oco flat slide carb with a uni filter. Um, everything on the engine's been done wrinkled black. Uh, the customer wanted this like super road legal, so we've put a rear number plate light bracket uh, with the the wiring coming along and then just running up into like the rear light. So that's the TRS ultimate mount. NCY brake cable, it's one of my favourites. Then we've got the carbon fibre rear spoiler. And then coming over to this side, that sticks out right at you is the Yoshimura uh, carbon pipe. TRS solid wheels, gold hardware. I think I've already spoke about that in the last video. This is a 140 tyre. Um, fits on there lovely. And it seats really nice too. Uh, it gives you a little bit more clearance underneath, which is nicer for the rider. Rear sets and the SMF pegs. But this bike just sits and looks really nice when it's when it's there. Look at that. Nice looking bike. I'm super happy with how it's turned out. Um, yeah, I suppose you guys want to hear it running. So I'll try and do that. the completed bike um, I've got to take it for MOT on Thursday so I'll take it for its MOT um, I won't film that process because obviously the MOT guy doesn't want me sticking a camera in his face um, what we'll do is you'll see it in this video I will get the reaction of the the owner as he comes to pick it up uh, also we'll do some nice cinematic shots of the bike go around all the key features and make it look nice and pretty. So it's behind. Say, What's that? It's not the what the hell? That's not what I fucking wanted. <laughs> yeah. So it's just behind here. Right. And there she is. Oh, no, that is. Yeah. Right. So the photos don't do it justice, do they? No, we'll get it out in a sec. I'll just I'll show you the. Uh, right. Look at how low it is. It's incredible. So much chunky and full, so, you know, yeah, wide. Yeah, it's, uh, it cu it's come out a lot better than I expected. It's just the little details and stuff like where oh, I, mate, it's, we had the carbon fibre done, I put a brown, yeah, brown edging. edging around it, and obviously the brown matches all the way through to the spring to that. I'll tell you how wide it is. It's, it, it, like I say, it doesn't do it justice on the, uh, no. on the instance that I don't think it would have been better to it. It, it couldn't come out any better, could it? I don't think so. Good. Let's get it out and I'll show you around it. Right, so we have it. We completed the bike and the customer's going to pick it up. Yeah. He's happy with it. Very. So um, we're going to say goodbye to this lovely bike and get it in the van, I guess. There she is, getting strapped in, ready to go. Yeah, we've got straps coming out of all angles now. <laughs> uh, try and do it to the same place if you can. On, on, 
Oh, on that one? Yeah, or, or to that mount that's underneath, that'd do. That centre mount. So, customer has just uh, left with the bike. Um, he was super happy. Uh, he wants to come to some of the shows that I usually do. So, uh, look forward to seeing him uh, in the future. I think next week we have another bike being dropped off by um, a company called Limebug. Uh, we're going to be doing some weird and wonderful things with this bike and seeing what sort of suspension work we can do. So I'm really looking forward to getting into that one. Um, what else have we got on the horizon? There's loads of projects, lots of stuff to do. Also, I want to get onto the Mark 1 Escort and uh, get that running again because I miss using it. So um, if you like, share, subscribe, all of those good things, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.